she, yeah. actually she do mostly all the planting you know oh okay because me if i plant uh, uh, for some reason i don't know it doesn't grow it doesn't grow <laughs> so she does all the planting okay. yeah <laughs> In the summer of 1990, Gil Pena and his family immigrated to Hawaii. Today he shares his family's story and describes his personal journey from his early years in the Philippines to his life now as a husband, father, farmer, and business owner on Oahu. Well, I'm originally from Pangasinan. And what was it like growing up there? It's pretty hard. Yeah, I we usually uh, we're a farmer actually in a uh, uh, Philippine. Mm -hmm. We we grow uh, rice. This is the long beans. Okay. Yeah, oh, in summertime it should be longer than this, okay. like a yard long. Oh, okay. But right now it's like big. yeah, no, it doesn't. Huh. They're like yeah. medium beans. Mm -hmm. they're long beans. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a medium bean. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the chili, nice. Yeah, I yeah. wish the, I wish it was hot. But you know, it's, it's hard to grow chilies here, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Pena Farm is a farm in transition. Gil took over last spring and is slowly clearing out old banana and papaya trees to make way for more vegetables commonly used in Filipino cuisine. You know the, the um, in the beginning, if you heard it, if you heard about it, my grandpa, because they're the one who came here first, mm -hmm. together with my my two uncle. His, uh, my, my father's brothers, right. that they're young, they used to work in the sugar cane in the, in the olden days, like 30s, 1930s, like that. Oh, this is the, the short beans. Yeah, mostly uh, Filipino vegetables I plant here. Yeah, this is the mountain yam. This is too small yet. Mm -hmm. This one is the mung beans. Oh, okay, cool. This is the mung beans. It's like only like a month old right now. So I decided to plant this because, you know, I mean, I cannot plant nothing else because of the papayas. So I just planted this one in here until this papaya get, get take down and then, yeah, for a uh, pinak bed. Uh -huh. That's what I was going to cook, I guess, tomorrow in Perfect, yeah. Pacific Gateway. Yeah, this is the eggplant we use for pinak bed. My parents are old because uh, they were uh, petitioned by my, my, my uncle. Yeah. And your uncle was already here? Yeah. So he helped them come over? Mm -hmm. He helped them, he petitioned them to come over. The brother to brother is it's like, you have to wait for like 20, 20 years, something to come in here Whoa. to petition. Yeah, that, that's, that's how long it is. They work in a Del Monte Okay, company. so they came and worked pineapple? Yeah, it's a pineapple, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And then after the pineapple and after your, you worked in a hospital, then what? Then I started this, uh, uh, my business, uh, the shop, okay. like the uh, produce. For the roof? Yeah. And then when you started the store, was it only your produce or were you getting produce? We were getting produce from, from everybody. Everybody okay. like around here? Around, around here, around this area. So it, it was mostly like Kunia Farm? Yeah, Kunia Farm. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I get some produce from Casey. Oh, from Casey Farm? Yeah, oh, I, nice. I, get, I get from her too. I get from, I get, it's like I go uh, from um, Kuang, Catalina. I get from her. I get from uh, Pilom side, that area. Yeah, I, I go around, I mean. So a lot of farms in the Pacific Gateway Center. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. cool. Like what draws you to farming, man? Like what, yeah, like some of the days that you don't want to get up and go pick weeds or plant stuff or whatever. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> not not to brag about it, but me when me and my wife work two jobs, it doesn't even help us doing the mortgage, everything. When I start doing this, I mean, I see like, you know, growing and everything like that. It's pretty much. So that's why I decided to just do the farming. Yeah. Oh, so it's actually a more viable business. Yes, right? yes, yes, okay. yes. You do better financially. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
So that's that's an incentive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much because okay. you know me and my wife we're working two jobs for was like not even enough. I work yeah. uh, work in a hospital and then I worked two hospitals actually before. Wow. <laughs> and still, I, I have no idea. I don't know why. But right now, I start loving farming now. Gil's going to teach us his family's version of pinak bet, a classic Filipino dish made with pork belly and a variety of vegetables. He will use eggplant, long beans, okra, and lima beans grown on his farm, as well as vegetables grown by neighbors at Pacific Gateway Farm. Meanwhile, Chef Paul and his team are making 200 portions of this dish today for We Are Oceania, an organization that serves Micronesian communities in Hawaii. First, Gil simmers the pork belly in water for about 25 minutes until the skin is tender. Once the pork is cool enough to handle, he separates the skin from the meat, chops it, and adds the skin back to the pot to cook until crispy. After that, he will brown the meat, toast the garlic, and cook the onions and ginger until soft. Next, the tomatoes, fresh lima beans, and fish sauce are added. The pot is covered and ingredients are simmered until the beans are tender. What's your favorite? Amor's yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is my favorite. Yeah, not some other pizzas, like they're dark and, you know. Okay. But you can smell it, it smells good. <laughs> the onion, garlic, ginger, and fish sauce. Tomato. Now we gotta let, let the tomato cook through until it's you know it's mushy and it's softened, and then add a, a little bit of water. Eggplant and a half cup of water are added next, followed by okra, bitter melon, wing beans, and long beans. Gil will cook this mixture covered over medium heat until the vegetables are soft, walking over every five minutes or so to give the vegetables a toss. Sir, I, I just flip the vegetable over and over, so I don't, yeah, because I, I don't want the vegetable to get uh, smooshy and, you know, I think it's pretty good. Is that for how many people you guys cooking? 200. At least uh, my wife, thank you for my wife because she supported me all the way, you know.